Hi guys, I want to thank the subscriber who left this who left the link to this video below one of my videos and the link to this video will be posted below. You can watch it and if you're not upset by what you see and if you think that the person who is uh, holding the camera is doing something wrong then I hope that you really seriously think about that and reevaluate your thinking. I have said since I've been on YouTube six years, our greatest enemy are our fellow Americans. I have received an awful lot of attacks simply for saying that. Clearly, people are not seeing that this apathy, the self-centeredness, the well-adjusted to a deeply disturbed society, they are not getting the connection between that and this unbelievable manifestation of disgusting evil that has taken over our country, the New Agers believing false beliefs about their own self-centered lives. They believe, oh my God, I'm so spiritual and God has blessed me with all of the money I have and the gorgeous house that I have and, oh, yeah, really, mm -hmm. you're, you're on, a th on the spiritual road. To what? I don't know, but they have their false beliefs. This is Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, where the majority of the residents of South Carolina are Christian. Yeah, I will never stop saying we've got an awful lot. The majority of Christians, they just put that label on themselves so that they they can feel good about themselves, but they, well, using Christian language, they are living a life directed by Satan. Yeah! You know, I had a conversation with a friend and I asked her, this friend who is Christian, I asked her, what do you think the world would be like if Christians actually tried to emulate the life of Christ, if they were real? Christians and she said it would be incredible. Wow, would it would it really man it would be Well our Father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven it would be heaven but no Christians most of them slap that label on themselves and live lives that could not be more antithetical to Christ. Oh, yes, attack me for saying that. But this would never have manifested. We would never have manifested such incredible evil, such incredible sickness and disease of the heart, of the mind. And that is just a fact, an obvious, an obvious fact. The majority still are Christian. You're going to tell me in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, oh, that's right, Myrtle Beach, that tourist place, and that place where you got to have an awful lot of money to live there. A man brings a homeless man into McDonald's to buy him a meal. The cops are called. And listen to this, listen to what this cop says. To go. That's all. You can take his name. Can I get his name, please? Yeah. Can I get your name, please? Can I get your name, please? I would like you to leave. Hey, hey, can you just provide him with the police? I'm getting kicked out of here because I gave a homeless guy food, by the way, guys. Just so you know, I gave a homeless guy food. They're kicking me out. Yes, because you need to kick him out. No, because I'm being loud, because I'm telling you what you did was wrong. Yeah, I'll probably end up going to jail. That's what's going to happen. I'm not going to go to jail. 
I'm yeah. asking you this nicely. Yeah, I want to. I want to sit here and finish my food. So then I want a refund. You don't. You don't have that. But when I when that, 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 I'm not here. I'm not here to argue with you. I am the law. Wow, you go, girl. I put on a uniform and I am the law. Ego, low level of consciousness. This is what we have throughout our country. And so many people are being destroyed by that, that low level of consciousness. And if you're not seeing this uh, connected to the bigger picture of what is happening here in our country, then you really need to think about why do I not see the connection, the ripple effect. Americans, big and bad, yeah, big and bad, brave, courageous. And most are just little children scared, living their lives, living their lives. Oh, huh, don't ask me to confront anybody on their bad behavior. No, I have to go along to get along, and I got to be nice. I got to be nice, because if I'm not nice, then people won't like me. What do you mean, do what's right? I would prefer to attack those who do what's right. I'd prefer to be uh, the American who just oh, pretends that this is not happening. It's not happening. I, I truly am disgusted. Disgusted. You can attack me all you want. Go ahead. I don't care. The man filming this, the man who brought that homeless person in, the, the homeless man in to buy him a meal, did what is right, and they get kicked out. You're being disorderly. If you can't see that our greatest enemy is our fellow Americans. I, 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 I just don't know. Uh, you really need to, to examine that. How, how it is that so many Americans live such incredibly hypocritical lives forever, never coming out of it, never examining themselves. And, oh, well, I'm not doing anything wrong. I'm a good person. Really? I don't want to rock the boat. I might get shamed. People might not like me. I might get abandoned. I have to go along to get along. It's that kind of behavior that is so disgusting, so reprehensible. The man filming this, he's doing what's right. And today, and it has been the same for decades, when you stand up, when you do what's right, you get attacked and knocked down because you have so many people in this country who are so disturbed themselves. And perhaps when people actually do what's right, it reflects back and they go, oh, well, I don't do that kind of behavior. I don't do what's right. So I'm going to... I'm going to view that as wrong and I'm right because I'm nice and I'm not disorderly and and well I don't bring in homeless people into uh, Myrtle Beach into McDonald's no I leave them outside we have such incredible disease it is so sick what has happened in this country it is so profoundly disturbed, the well-adjusted, so unbelievably disturbed. How could they not be? This cop, 
the customers in there, those customers should have immediately jumped up when that homeless man had the cops called on him to throw him out of McDonald's. They should have all. That, that's the right behavior. But no. No. Until we examine. Until we critically examine how we operate in the world until we begin to face our own behavior and recognize the connection between our own behavior and this incredible nightmare of evil that has manifested here. So disgusting, reprehensible, immoral are most Americans until we face that within our own self and do what's necessary to correct our behavior instead of going on talking a big game about ourselves until Americans begin to walk their talk we will only see more people suffering the consequences of of this evil and I'm sorry these two women here, I can guarantee you there are people in this McDonald's who consider themselves Christians. We are in South Carolina after all. Probably this cop believes that she's a Christian. I don't know. that That's a presumption that I am acknowledging. But there are so many here. And they do nothing but live comfortable, self-centered lives. Go ahead and attack me, but I have to say, man, it, I don't <laughs> call yourself a Christian. What does that mean? The real Christians agree with me. None of this would have manifested if we actually had Christians in our country who tried their best to emulate the life of Christ. Yeah, hard. Fall short. Very often, every day, something happens. You're falling short. You pick yourself up. You keep trying. You keep trying. Instead, what I see is just this deranged hypocrisy. But you don't have to be Christian. Hell, that's the way we roll here in our country. Let's just put on a face, wear that mask everywhere we go, and, and present ourselves as good people. I'm good. Sorry. And you know what? It's not just the cops. It's not just those order followers that we, well, their behavior obvious to us, that they live working, well, for Satan, using that language, they live working every day, taking orders, and those orders, when they are actually followed through, implemented, you see incredible immorality. Immorality. But they're just doing their job. This is what is inside most Americans. Most Americans. Following the orders. Following Following, following, following along, going along to get along. We will never see anything manifest in this country that is good. It's only going to get worse. 
It is absolutely necessary in our daily lives. When we see injustice, that we stand up right then and hold the person accountable for their injustice. Hold people accountable for their behavior. That is not right, that is reprehensible, that is immoral. If you can't do that, you are absolutely part of the problem. If you cannot face your own behavior that is immoral, reprehensible, not good, hurting other people, you are part of the problem. If you cannot take responsibility for your own bad behavior, and bad behavior looks like those two women right there, sitting, doing nothing, bad behavior. It is not good to live your life just being nice and going along to get along. And my God, the evil now is taking over and so many people are suffering the consequences. And unless you stand up and do everything that you can to correct the behaviors that you see in front of you in your own communities going down that are, that's wrong, you are allowing the evil to spread.